This is my 2011 Toyota 4Runner that I've converted into my mobile filmmaking SUV. It's got everything I need to film anywhere, anytime, in any condition. Look at that nerd. Let's say you need more gear than this, but less than this. You need this. I wanted the freedom to film wherever I wanted, which meant I had to figure out some power and storage solutions without breaking the budget. So if you want to take filmmaking on the go, this is a tour of my own personal rig to inspire you, give you some ideas, and help you build out your own rig so that you can make films anywhere. Now that we're done watching my Toyota 4Runner commercial, which is unfortunately not sponsored by them, let's talk about why I even made this build to begin with. I bought the Toyota 4Runner because that was my dream car for a really long time. I really wanted an SUV because I live in Colorado and I needed a lot of cargo space and wanted something that was comfortable to drive every single day. So that's gonna be really important. Make sure to, to get the vehicle that is custom for you. Your needs are gonna be completely different than mine. It's so important to do something for yourself and to not just copy everybody else. Now let's get into my actual build. Everything is in the description box below if you wanna get it for your own vehicle. I have a full length Prinsu roof rack, which is perfect for transporting long equipment like C-stands and jibs that would otherwise tear up my interior. It's low profile, so it doesn't affect my already terrible gas mileage. I can even use it as a perch for wildlife filming or astrophotography, though I really need to buy one of those hatch ladders in the future so my poor dog can join me. And it's a perfect place to lay out my solar power panels to charge gear. More on how I do this later. Mounted on the front is a 40 inch LED light bar that is bright enough to blind you. It helps me see when I drive in the mountains or illuminate my film set at night. Don't have these on while driving in the city because it's illegal in most places for obvious reasons. This SUV has a lot of large flat surfaces I can attach camera gear. This gives me some options for mounting rigs onto my vehicle to get unique shots. I do a lot of vehicle and aircraft filming, so this was a must have for me. My security system might come as over the top to some of you, but keep in mind that I'm transporting sometimes up to half a million, half a million dollars in film gear. And I don't want to be responsible for losing any of that or it getting stolen or damaged. So my security system is kind of intense for a good reason. I get a discount on my insurance, so it paid itself off in the first couple of months anyway. And uh, there may or may not be a kill switch somewhere in the vehicle too, so that nobody can steal my car. So let's take a look. Each window has dark security tint, which is just barely legal here in Colorado, which serves three purposes. It darkens the interior so you can't window shop and see the stuff that you shouldn't be stealing. It's so dark that people can't see me, which lets me be incognito and uh, gets people to mind their own business. And three, it's shatterproof film, which means the window cannot be broken for a smash and grab. This is also a safety feature. Um, it is semi bulletproof and uh, shatter resistant in case I get in a car accident. This all sounds crazy when I say it aloud, but um, I've been in some weird situations. We'll just leave it at that. I also have GPS tracking, glass break sensors, impact sensors, and motion detection. Basically, if anything happens, these three dash cams inside record the footage at the front cabin and rear and send it straight to my phone. Again, this is for my peace of mind, my safety, and something that makes me feel good. It really was not that much money, maybe two or $300, um, and totally worth it, in my opinion. Now, on to the best part, the interior. Because this is my daily driver, I like things organized and not sliding around all over the place. 
I installed these steel molly panels onto the back windows and used these pouches to carry everyday items like fasteners, fire extinguishers, spare cables, and a fully equipped first aid kit. You would be surprised how many people hurt themselves on a film set. It's like every single time, there's always that one person. What are you doing? I have this 100 watt portable charger so I can jump my battery without needing any other car and a larger 500 watt battery that can power an entire light setup in field, three point lighting setup on the go, heck yeah. I can charge my laptop for on the go editing or even run my fridge so I can have my snacks and my drinks. When paired with my solar power panel, it runs indefinitely on sunny days. And if it's a cloudy day, I still have eight hours of power. Film gear tends to be all black and sometimes it's completely impossible to see anything, especially when you drop that one tiny tripod screw that everyone always loses. So I added these three magnetic LED lights to illuminate the trunk space. I can take them wherever I need and they are USB rechargeable. Now onto my pride and joy, my drawer boxes. I've been wanting to do this to my Forerunner from the very first day that I got it. My father helped me design and build these and install them. If you wanna know how I did that, I did shoot an entire tutorial video on this with the blueprints and the CNC designs. It was awesome. It's pretty much the best upgrade that I've made to my Forerunner and I needed it to be low enough where I could still sit up inside, my dog could still get up there, I could still put pelican cases up there. I'm not very tall. And so I designed these five inch drawer boxes to be able to store my essential stuff that I don't feel bad about leaving in the vehicle. Not that people can get my car to begin with, but if I did have the trunk open and somebody stole stuff, doesn't really matter. I just wanted to carry some stuff like gels, cables, fasteners, sandbags, things like that, that I could just leave in my car and not have to worry about. So that when I did show up on a film set, if I was like, oh, I forgot gaff tape, it's a game, it's in the drawer box, or oh my gosh, I didn't bring a reflector. It's okay, it's in the drawer box. Since these drawers are only five inches tall, they're super easy to install. It fits in the cargo area. And when I fold down the second row seats, the drawer slides out to create a perfectly flat surface. All four runner owners know that the seats don't lay to create a flat surface and it drives us all nuts. So this was my solution. The tabletop also folds up to become a standing workstation safe under the shelter of the rear hatch. That way I can edit on top and store things on the bottom. It is so important to tie down your gear, especially on long trips or if you're going up to the mountains. Trust me, if you get in a car accident, you don't want a tripod flying through your car at like 55 miles an hour. Trust me, this is speaking from experience, tie everything down. It takes like five seconds. I always carry these cargo straps so I can just lock everything down. Um, I made these drawer boxes specifically so that they do have tie down points. So they lock into the frame of my vehicle. And when I wanna remove them, I just twist them out and they come out in about 60 seconds. I specifically bought a Forerunner with this in mind, but I would have to say for you, the best mobile rig that you have is the vehicle that you already own. So just take some time to customize it. I hope this has been inspirational for you so you can get some ideas. All the links to the items that I use and the equipment that I have is in the description box below. You can go there, check it out, take a look and get some inspiration to build out your own rig. All right, go film something, go have fun, bye.